many names. But you can call me Zorro. What's going on, guys? Derek here from Wilson Audio. Today we have an ant from Toro. No, my friends, not Zorro. Or, apparently, not the company that makes lawnmowers that's also named Toro. This is a different electronics company. But anyway, you can see the box here. Extremely small. Pick this one up on Amazon for around 80 bucks. Now, whenever you buy this, if you do pick one up at a later date, it may be more, maybe less. You know how Amazon works. All right, let's unbox this bad boy and see what's inside. You can see here we have the amp that uh, comes. Yeah, this thing fits in the palm of your hand. Very small for a 500 watt amp. We'll take a closer look at the inputs and outputs, stuff like that here coming in just a few minutes. You also get some hardware and Allen key. Yeah, you can take Allen's key and use it. And then here's the harness, the speaker plug harness. It has like 16 gauge wire. So that's kind of a bummer that you have to plug one of those in. And then also comes with a manual. And unfortunately the manual doesn't fit in the box well. So they kind of bend the manual up. But let's take a closer look at the ratings of this particular amp. So one on the far right, the MR2 model, 230 watts at 4 ohms, 320 at 2 ohms, 500 at 1 ohm. It says it does 600 watts peak power. Here's a comparison with some of the other mini and small 500 watt amps, excluding the MBX there. That's actually a 300 watt amp. But you can see they're all really small. Of course, the thing here I like about the sundown as it does have the terminals for the speakers whereas a toro doesn't on the one end of the toro you can see rca jacks level input low pass filter bass boost remote power protect led and clip led on the opposite side we have eight gauge for power ground and remote and then we have this little hateful speaker plug of course i'll show you that more when i get it hooked up and talking about the size, you can see this amp is really small here in my hand. Definitely fits in the palm of most people's hands. It's 5.75 inches by about 3 inches. You see the millimeter equivalents there as well. And then for the heights, 1.7 or 43 millimeters. Now I'm going to show you here, yes, you can actually have 500 watts in your pocket. You can see it fits in the front pocket here of my stretchy jeans. Or the rear pocket of my stretchy jeans because that's how we roll 500 watts in our pocket let's get it plugged in good old stinger rcas and then we'll hook up the uh, power ground and remote we're using eight gauge for the power and ground and a small remote and i'm going to show the speaker plug here it's got four different outputs two for positive two for negative so i'm using this little terminal block here to help out Check the link in the video description. I'll have a link to Amazon where you can pick up one of those terminal blocks if you need one. They're very useful for hooking up amplifiers like this or if you have any, any of the ones that come with these little pigtail harnesses. Here's the amp. You can see it looks very small on the bench. It's just a tiny little thing. But uh, yeah, let's get to the part you guys want to see. Let's fire up the good old SMD AD1 Amp Dyno. See how this amp performs. All right, here I've got this mini Toro 500 watt amp hooked up. Let's turn it on. Got four little LED lights there, blue on the top. All right, first up, we'll try the four ohm test. The amp's rated 230 watts at 14.4. Certified test takes up to 1% THD using the 40 Hertz tone, of course. Don't quite get there, 221, but that's really what we call close enough. It's statistically insignificant. Uncertified takes us up to clipping. Let's see if we can get that 230 watts. Yes, we do. 234 at 14.44. Now let's run the dynamic burst, which sends a 40 hertz pulse tone into the amp. And you can see here we did get over the 230 watts here as well, 233 at 14.41 now we're going to check the efficiency with the four ohm test here certified we got about 82 percent that's pretty good so let's move on to the two ohm test rated 320 watts 14.4 volts certified test first at 40 hertz rated 320 watts and yeah boy 332 14.44 
Now we'll do the dynamic test next because unfortunately Big Dummy didn't record <laughs> the uncertified test, which you will see on the test sheet later. So we got 357 here uh, dynamically and then the efficiency at two ohms is not quite so good. 70% for an amp this small. I hope it will be a little higher. So now let's try the one ohm test where it's rated 500 watts, 14.4 volts. First up, we'll try certified. Again, that stops the test at 1% THD. And you can see at 14.47, we didn't quite get to 500. We got 443. So a little under what they uh, rated at. So uncertified takes us up to the clipping point. And you're gonna see here, we do get the 500 watts here. Just over 500, 504 at 13.84. Dynamic test at one ohm. Yep, easily does the 500 watts it's rated. Looks like we got 550. I don't know if it's gonna go any higher. I think it stops there. 550 at 14.4. Here the efficiency though. Oh wow, 57% with the certified test. That is not good, my friends. All right, next up, we'll take the amp apart and take a look at the guts inside. And unfortunately, this time we did not have Sam available to tell us about it, uh, mainly because of my time schedule and uh, because I could not really get the clamps off very easily on the inside so we could see what kind of outputs this thing had. But you can see they pack a lot in here. It reminds me a lot of the Sundown. It um, has a lot of things glued down so you don't have to worry about the vibration. You can see the transformer, you can see the choke, you can also see the capacitors there. These are 105 degrees Celsius, and we have a 2200 microfarad 35 volt for the input filtering. And you can see the board there, it actually says Copyright Toro Technologies. And for the rails, we have 50 volt 470 microfarad caps there. All right, now let's move on to some subwoofer tests, see how it sounds. Here's another one of the favorite tracks, the uh, Silicon Bass by Bass Syndicate. Let's check it out. All right, so I know my garage door rattles like crazy and I still haven't got that fixed yet. If anybody knows what I can use on that, let me know that's not gonna weigh the garage door down. Anyway, let's do some three kinds of bass. What do you say? Here we go. Alright, so I did all the amp test and also did the subwoofer test. Gonna check out the temp here, heat sink, 95 degrees, 95.5 Fahrenheit, not too bad. Nope, 96 right there. 97. So not too bad for this little dinky amp. And man was it killing this 12-inch sub. It would be the funniest thing to get somebody's reaction 
to having an amp like this in a car powering a 12 inch beefy 800 watt sub like this and it's just killing it all right guys here you can see the final test here of the amp we got almost rated at four ohms we did reach rated at two ohms and did not quite get there at the one ohm test at least for certified so it did close but uncertified test it got to rating so we'll give it a passing now let's talk about the good stuff the size this thing is tiny price and value very good for 80 bucks it does have a clip led on it as well which is nice and it does have an available base remote unfortunately it didn't come with one and that's part of the things that could be better the efficiency was not very good no subsonic filter for protecting your ported speaker enclosures speaker harnesses instead of having the terminals and the base remote was not included as I already mentioned Hope you guys enjoyed the test here of the Toro MR2 500 watt mini micro size amplifier. Thanks as always for supporting. Special thanks to Stuart, Jesus, Travis, Byron, Legends of Car Audio, Hi Five Vega, The Third Era, Sean K Audio, Big D, I'm out of here. All right, guys, here's the final amp dyno sheet. You can pause it here if you want to see all the results. And I'm going to show you the half ohm dynamic run. So stay tuned. Here it comes. All right. Crazy test for most amps, including one that fits in the palm of your hand. It's not rated for half an ohm. We're going to try it anyway for the love of YouTube. For those who want to know that this test means nothing, but it's still interesting to see. So we're going to try it. Half ohm dynamic burst. Can it do it? I think it's in protect maybe 688 watts 14.19 but i think it did go into protect let's see let's see if we can see the back no power is still on it's not in protect so i just freaked it out a little bit you would never want to use an amp this small 500 watts at half an ohm i can tell you that because it does not have the heat sink to let that heat dissipate.